This is a three and a half mile circular walk in the small village of Ainsworth between Bury and Bolton, starting at the Whitehead Reservoirs, passing the Weavers' Cottages, with a tea stop at the Arthur Lane Nurseries. There are several routes to the Whitehead Reservoirs. This is a good way because it takes you to the start of the lower reservoir so you can walk up all three. Because the area is called Lower Croft, they've also become known as the Lower Croft Reservoirs. At the bottom reservoir was John Whitehead's Calico Print Works. He also had a bleach works nearby. Nope. This middle reservoir is popular with early morning swimmers. I bet it's cold in that water. Morning. The three reservoirs were built by John Whitehead, a local businessman. Built around 1840, the stone used to make them was quarried from the top reservoir. In 1852, heavy rain caused the middle reservoir to breach, flooding the lower reservoir and print works. It cost John Whitehead £15,000 to repair the building. The flooding extended over a mile further down towards Elton Brook and Bury. Fortunately, it was on a Sunday, so factories were empty. Ainsworth was originally named Cocky, and we're just about to enter Cocky Moor. This pond on the moor is the remains of a bell pit coal mining shaft. On the right is Moorside Cotton Mill. It stopped producing cotton in 1955. The area's industry was stone quarrying, spinning, weaving, printing and bleaching. Many of the houses had weaving looms and these cottages are believed to have housed Flemish weavers. This is part of the Red Rose Forest, planted in 1974 with Japanese larch, Scots pine, sycamore and ash.
Brown Hill Farm Cottages, lovely rental properties. On the left is Sunnybank, a lovely house. It was recently up for sale at just shy of £1 million. Time for a tea stop at Arthur Lane Nurseries, a really nice little cafe with lots of outside seating. A short walk down Arthur Lane and then a right turn takes you to Barrackfold Farm. On the left is the Ainsworth Golf Club. In the mid-17th century, an army gathered near the farm in preparation for an attack on Bolton. It's believed that this is where the name Barrack came from. I'll show you a picture of what this pathway looked like in 2019. Again passing the weaver's cottages, but this time a left turn takes us to the top reservoir.
This is where they quarried the stone to build the reservoirs. I'd love to know what these are. There's a number of them around the reservoir and they all have sun carved on them. Perhaps stillies to promote good weather, I don't know.